So sadly, we're back in the kennels. They're okay. We've been here before. So we left Tulia in the house because she's a lot calmer than these. <laughs> They're beautiful. I know. I really do want to keep these girls together. And you know the pity boys, as they're getting older, they're getting more bonded. Poor Spike just wants to love everybody, don't you? Spike. You big love bug. Look at that, I know. I know. I know. Get down now, a good boy. Get down. So we've got the curtains up. Obviously, they've been up for a while. They obviously keep the wind chill out and the wind. I have a little gap there while I've got dogs in just to keep the airflow. Otherwise, it can get stinky when you're peeing and pooping. Yes, it can. And we've got access to our drains. Um, great idea for Renee, putting the pallets up, which stops the curtains just falling right down. No, don't jump on me like that. So, as you can see, our dog door. So I need to get the dog doors. Um, something I've got to make a priority now because they draft. Um, we've had to block this one. They can't go in that one because they keep opening the gate. Um, it's got a bit of a wide gap, so they can, even when it's locked with a catch on it, they can sneak through it with the buggers. So they've had a good run out this morning. Maybe we can get somebody to volunteer and come and um, concrete under the gate. It doesn't just need the hole filling. It needs the whole length of the gate, the eight foot, like a little trench digging and filling in or else they're just going to dig next to the hole. So there's no point doing a job that's going to need redoing again in a week. If we can get that done before the floor or the ground freezes, then um, then I can let them out there for a few hours every day to burn off some of this energy. But if not, you know, they're good. It's Hopefully you're not gonna, gonna be here too much longer. I know. There's got to be somebody that wants to love you guys, aren't they? You're all so adorable. They all obviously get on with other dogs, super friendly. Gonna need training, obviously. Get down. Spike walks good on a leash. They're all fully vetted. No, we don't jump. They're just a bit... They just need a home with a routine and lots of love, structure, training. See how well they all play together? And there's three boys. So there's your theory and the two girls, obviously. Somebody please adopt these. I know, why does nobody want to love you? Hey, I know you beautiful ladies. I know. They always redesign the beds to where they want them. <laughs> I know, little angel. You were just too much in the house, wasn't you? You was all getting into everything and chewing on things that I needed. I don't know who it was, but you're all a little team, aren't you? Are you all a big team? Is that my thumb you're chewing? I need that, actually. No, you get down, Spike. Get down. That's my hand. You can't chew my hand. You don't chew my hand. I need it. I do. I need it. I do. You're getting quite tall, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Let's get down now. Let's get down. No, we get down. No, uh, uh.
No, we don't want that bit of fluff, do we? Give me that. Give me that. There's a good boy. Move. No, move. Move. I've not got anything. So we're going to see how the other puppies fare up, the little calf dogs, because they might end up coming to join these lot. Now they're getting a bit bigger, they're getting into everything. If I was sat down watching TV all day, that would be easy. I could deal with them all in the house, but I'm not. I'm in and out, up and down, doing this, that and the other. So there's obviously the dogs still downstairs. So... Right, well, I'm going to start cleaning over back in the house and get my house back in order to some extent. <laughs> okay. oh, oh, why is nobody adopting them? They're just so adorable. So the two girls and Spike have been here since June. And the two boys were here very young. They've been here, I think, also since June. Get down since June, but they've known nothing else. They've been here I think they're about six months old, maybe now. This is all they've known, which is pretty sad. Their eight brothers and sisters all got adopted. Of course, four of them were the blue, two of them were the brown. Black boys always get left. Don't you? Hey, nobody loves the black dogs, do they? Spike's just a pit bull, that's why he's still been left behind. giving me kisses are you giving me lots of kisses i know because you're such a good boy aren't you i know nobody wants you do they nobody wants to love you guys no you neither i know look a wiggly bum yes spike we know you're here and you're helping him have a bath Giving him a key. You sorting yourself out there? You open it. <laughs> See, and that's brotherly love for you, isn't it? No, you don't bite my hand. one like I say they're not going in are you just chilling out in there where it's nice and warm don't blame you I'd do the same so we've got it nice and toasty warm in here was you missing something you wasn't missing anything honest you go back in there where it's toasty warm and chill I'm going to give you blankets at night, but we have to take them off you in the mornings or else they'll be just ripped up. 